Hello everyone, my name is Yasmeen and I teach the art exploration classes at Visual Arts Brampton. In today's lesson, we will learn about a great artist named Joan Miro and about expressionist art. We will also practice creating a color scheme from warm or cool colors, as well as practicing coloring and blending techniques. Miro would draw and paint forms that were recognizable like a dog or a person, but he used great loopy lines to make them simple and abstract at the same time. To make today's lesson, you'll need a sketchbook or a piece of drawing paper, a black sharpie or a black marker, as well as some colored pencils. Before we start with our drawing, we are going to start our expressionist drawing by listening to some music we like. Listening to music will help us create our drawing. We can also sing to ourselves while we're drawing and coloring if you don't have any music to listen to. Once you've picked your perfect song, practice making big loops and bends with your finger on the page. Look how big your finger loops are. Are the loops big enough? Are you moving your finger with the music to make loops and bends? Are the lines crossing each other? After you've practiced this for a little while, now we're ready to do the same with our marker. With the black sharpie or marker, you can take a line for a walk. Go from one side of the paper to the other and start by drawing loopy lines that also bend. Make sure the loops are big enough and that they cross each other. Once you get to the other side of the page, this is where you can stop. Don't forget to close your loop if there's a line hanging out. We're going to color each section one at a time. So choose a section and start in one corner. We're going to apply the color neatly and evenly. Take your time with this coloring. Make sure that you're laying down nice, rich, and bold color. As you move towards the middle, press a little less on the coloring pencil so it starts to fade. Now you're going to choose a different color and move to the other side of the section. Remember again that we're not mixing warm and cool colors. So starting in the corner again, you're going to color until you start to get closer to the first color. Start by pressing hard. And once you move to the middle, you're going to lighten up. Once you reach close to the middle, you're going to make both of these colors meet by pressing lightly. This now blends both colors together. You can go back in with the first color and blend a bit more. You should start to see how blending these two colors have given us three different colors. 
Continue to color each section using different color combinations every time until all of your loops are colored in. Once you've finished coloring in all your loops, you now have your finished Joan Miro inspired Take a Line for a Walk project. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you next time.